Okay, this problem's a little complicated, but doable. Basically, given the equation and given those two factors, um, you're asked to verify the factors and find the remaining factors and list the roots. And um, so, that's doable. First of all, how many roots does this equation have? Hopefully you said three because the highest exponent is a three. So, and we have two of the roots, so there's only one more to find. So basically, I can use synthetic with this and depress it twice, and the final equation I have left should give me the last root. So remember, if I want to use synthetic, though, I need to solve this by going 2x minus 1 equals 0. So 2x equals 1, x is 1 half, that's one of the answers x equals minus root 5 is the second of the answers. And now I'm just going to use synthetic, and I'm going to start with the 1 half because that's a little easier to use. So I'm going to start with 1 half in my little box here. I'm going to list these numbers across the top to just the coefficients, minus 1, minus 10, and 5. Now, they told me a half is a root. So I know I have to get 0 at the end. If I don't, I made a mistake. I have to go back and check my work. So let's go to it. Bring down the 2. Half times 2, 1. Add, I get a 0. Half times 0, 0. Add, I get negative 10. Half times negative 10, negative 5. Add, I get 0. And I knew I had to get 0 because they told me that was a factor. So, I've depressed this equation once. If I were to put the x's in, this would be 2x squared plus 0x minus 10. But, I'm going to depress it one more time, because I also know that negative root 5 is the answer. So, when I get to the end, I'm going to get a 0, right? Because it has to work. They told me it was an answer. So, let's draw our line and get busy here. Okay, so bring down the 2. So, 2 times negative root 5 is negative 2 root 5. Add to 0, and I get negative 2 root 5. Okay, tricky business here. Negative root 5 times negative 2 root 5 is positive 2 root 25. 2 times 5, positive 10. Huh, I got 0 at the end. So, yes, we know both of these equations worked. So let's um, put this, uh, put the x's in. So remember, we were depressing. This was first x to the third. This was x squared, so this is x. So this really is 2x minus 2 root 5 equals 0 for an equation. Let's solve that for x. So 2x equals 2 root 5. x equals root 5. So there's the third answer, x equals root 5. So now I have the three answers that they wanted me to find. And if I want to write them as factors, remember the first one I had 2x minus 1 was a factor, x plus root 5 was a factor, so this one is x minus root 5. So those are the three factors for this equation. If you were to multiply all three of those out, you would come up with this equation. So, there you go.